I'm busy. Call me later. Alex, please, Alex. I'm trying to enjoy my Sunday morning. Please. To hell! What are we looking to do? Refinance or purchase? Oh, there he is, Hooligan. Smoking the mic. Great salespeople are always prepared. I'm gonna call five random salespeople in my phone book on a Sunday morning and see if they're prepared to answer an objection. No judgment though. Hey buddy, it's Sunday morning here. We're calling random salespeople live, seeing if they're ready for an objection. Mike, I'm not interested. Well, I mean, give me a couple minutes of your time. I'm sure I can just basically offer you some numbers that you can compare to what you have on the table already. I'm already working with somebody. Uh, we know that. That's exactly why I'm calling you. I know that you're working with somebody else. That's why we're calling you. We're going to give you something a lot more aggressive. We want to win you as a client. I have up to three points right now, which is 3% of your loan amount that I can give you as slender credits to win you as a client. Trust me, I've been doing this for 10 years. Allow me two minutes every time. I'm going to demolish whatever deal you have on the table. <laughs> All right, let me keep going. I'm calling five random people. I got this live right now. Let's call Paula. See how my 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 woman do. What up, B? What up, B? We are calling salespeople live here on a Sunday morning to see if they're ready to handle any objection at any time. So I want to tell you, stop calling me. I'm not interested. Go. Hey, we are live right now. Stop calling me. Go. Just give oh, me your I best shot. I hear you. Listen, this is only going to take two minutes. And by the end of the two minutes, if you're not interested in what I have to hear, if, in what I have to say, I promise I won't call you again. So, and then pivot. Beautiful. If you're not interested in what I have to say, I won't call you again. I'd rather you say, you're definitely going to be interested in what I have to say. So give me two minutes. Pivot. You see how we just turned a negative phrase to a positive phrase? There's never no way out. There's never anything negative. It's always the best day in the world and the best thing in the world for everybody on the fucking phone. I love that. <laughs> Let's try it one more time. I'm busy. Call me later. Alex, please, Alex. I'm trying to enjoy my Sunday morning. Please. All right. PTSD. Peace. PTSD. Are you leaving? That's it? Uh, yeah, we're live. We're about to call the next salesperson. Okay. I love this for you. What's up, my brother? Listen, you're not really in sales. You do tattoos, but here's what I'm going to tell you, man. Why should I get my tattoo done with you, brother? There's a, there's a lot of shops out there that people are calling me with better deals. Why should I go with you? Go. Why with me? Because with me, you're going to have a one-on-one -on -one personal experience. I'm going to sit with you. We're going to have a consultation. I'm going to hear your story, the reason why you want to get this tattoo. It's going to have personal meaning to you. We're going to sit. We're going to talk about it. At the end of the day, you're going to have a tattoo that's one of one that nobody else in the whole world has. And it has a personal meaning to you that you can show and be proud of. There we go, Big Mike in the house, motherfuckers. All right, enjoy your Sunday. Good, good work. I love that thing. All right, bye. bye. Not bad for a tattoo artist. Ooh, let's call my boy Bear from Arizona. See how the AZ handles objections. It's like uh, seven in the morning down there, by the way, on a Sunday. And don't even fucking comment saying, hey, what are you doing up on Sunday morning, cuz? Shut the up. Hello, you've reached Mike Bearcat at Pride Home Mortgage. I'm either on another call or away from my desk, so please leave me your name number and a brief message after the tone i'll get back to you as soon as possible thanks and have a wonderful day i love it that's a good voicemail brother very professional tonality is very clear i like it you could always spice it up and say something that nobody else is saying right it's mike bearcat with pride home mortgage thanks so much for calling i'm pretty much on another call or away from my phone but i will make sure to call you back and here's what i tell you Thank you for calling. I will make it worth your time like I do for every other person that ever calls me. God bless you, and I can't wait to help you and your family. Boom! <laughs> oh, shit. We got to call the Twins Auto Sales. Holy shit. These guys are the number one car dealers. Well, I know they're number one in U.S., I believe.
What's going on, Habob? How are you, man? Good, man. You are fucking live. Twins Auto Sales on the fucking dialer right now. We're calling the best salespeople in the world, and that's what I consider you, brother. So tell me, when somebody walks in your dealership, and they're about to buy the car, and they're like, you know what? Sounds like a good deal, Al. I'm gonna go, you know, take a week or two, shop it around, and I'll be back. What do you tell them? Go. Whatever I deal, I keep it today. It's nothing to uh, deal tomorrow, so get on it, baby. Get on it. Whatever deal I give you today is not the deal tomorrow, so get on it. So what if, like, all right, that's cool, man. Well, I'll see the deal tomorrow. What do you say then? Go. Every day's a new deal, baby. Every day's a new deal. And today's the best deal, so you better jump on it right away before somebody else takes it. What if they say, how do I know you guys are the best, Al? What if I could get it cheaper somewhere else? What do you say? You came here for a reason because you know you're the best. We, we, you know we're the best. Twins auto sales, motherfuckers. Get on it. Let's go. I'll hit you back to talk business. Yalla. All right. Bye. Let's hit up my boy, Kurt Cobain. He's a realtor I know. Hey, Kurt Cobain, there he is, baby. We're alive on a Sunday morning, but real professionals always answer the phone. That's how we respect you. Look, you're a great realtor. I'm gonna put you on the spot here and ask you. If somebody asks you and says like, look, man, everything sounds great, but I'm gonna shop this around, go to a couple other realtors. I don't know why I should work with you. What do you say? Go. I tell them, go ahead, hit the market shop it around make sure you check out my reviews make sure you check out my social media and my full marketing campaign so you know exactly what to compare both agents to and when you do feel free to give me a call back and let me know how that conversation went can go both ways you can market it or you can keep someone on the good note where they'll call you back and they'll look look to you for advice as well not just the competition as a realtor you're doing both you're helping someone and you're also trying to do a sale Kurt Cobain Go check it and come back. This guy is ready for the objection every time. All right, I'll call you back, talk business, all right? We're live. No problem. Bye. All right, my boy's calling me back. We're starting to get callbacks here. We're starting to get callbacks. We're live, we're live, we're live, we're live. Julian, the sales leader. Hooligan, I'm going to ask you two different questions. It's a Sunday morning. You sound like you just woke up. That's okay. We are live here in Northville, Michigan. I'm going to ask you number one. Okay, I want to see how ready you are for a sales objection. If I call in and I tell you, look, man, I'm not interested. What do you say? Go. Listen, everyone I talk to is not interested, but at the end of the day, I'm going to show you the best numbers you've heard of, and you can make a decision based off of those numbers and make an informed decision for you and your family. So what are we looking to do? Refinance or purchase? Oh, there he is, hooligan, smoking the mic. One more question because you're a great sales leader. If somebody wants to come to your team, they're like, look, man, why should I come to your team and not go to any other leaders? How do you answer that? Go. Because the level of support that I'm going to give you and be able to guide you through your difficult times and your good times, I'm going to be able to be the best one for you. He cares, people. All right, we're live. Thanks. I'll hit you back. Let's call Natalie. This old G broke like 40 G's many times. What up, Natalie? Happy Sunday morning. We are live here in the studio. And I want to call the best salespeople that I have in my phone book and the best salespeople in my academy today. You're one of them. I'm calling in as a client. I tell you, I'm not interested. Stop calling me. What do you say? Go. Not a big deal. I don't want to waste too much of your time here. I see at one point you were interested. So fill me in. What kind of changed for you? Uh, just, you know, not into it right now. I mean, could you call me like in like three, four weeks? Yeah, not a problem. I'm actually already putting you in my schedule for that. But real quick here, I see that you were looking at purchasing um, in the Midtown area. Or are you moving for any reason particular? There we go, Nads getting curious right away. Pivoting, taking control, dribbling the ball. I love it, girl. You're on fire. We got to catch up. I'm going to call you later, okay? <laughs> Sounds good. Bye. There you have it. Sales objections from some of the best folks in different industries. How do you handle your objection? Stay tuned for the next episode.